Hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics Colio. I'm Hansa and in this video you are going to watch a multi-concept question that will sail through the concepts of different chapter. Logarithms, quadratic equations, inequalities, functions, max or minimum. Before proceeding in this video, I would like to request all of you to please like the video and share it with your friends. Do subscribe the channel for more such content. Now let us start with the question. So what is the question? The question says that Given that u and v belongs to real such that log u plus 2v to the base 4 plus log u minus 2v to the base 4 is equal to 1. Further, u plus 2v is greater than 0 and u is greater than 2v. Well, from this inequality, I can interpret that u is greater than minus 2v. And from these two together, I think we can conclude that u is greater than modulus of 2v. Right? This is what we can conclude from here. And f is a real valued function satisfying the following relations for all x belonging to r. The relation that they have given us for the function f of x is this one. That means two inequalities and one functional value has been provided. Now the question finally says that we have to find out the minimum value of modulus of u minus modulus of v. Okay, fine. We are going to start with the question. What we need to find out is actually the minimum value of modulus u minus modulus v. So right now, till this question, I cannot find out any usage of this one. But once you look at the option, you will come to know that it is actually the combination of two questions. One question you have to solve, and then you have to give your answer in the form of another question, right? So I need the function f of x so that I can opt for the option, ki kaun sa option sahi hoga, kaun sa galat hoga. Magar usse pehle mujhe ye dekhna padega ki akhir is expression ka value kya aata hai. So chali, let's start with the question, and I'm going to start my question with mod u minus mod v. How we are going to deal with that? u and v are involved. See, u and v are involved in first inequality or first equation, right? So, I'm going to rewrite that one using the properties of log. I'll write it as log to the base 4, u square minus 4v square, and this is equals to 1, correct? Further, from this inequality, you can write that this is actually u square minus 4v square is equals to 4. Dividing both the sides by 4. Why I am dividing it with 4? Because now, when you divide it with 4, now you get an equation which resembles with the equation of hyperbola. Right? This is something like x square upon a square minus y square upon b square equals to 1. Now, since it resembles a hyperbola, I am going to take the parametric form of u and v. I can assume that u is equals to 2 secant theta and v co I can take 1 10 theta, right? So basically u and v co we have converted to the same variable theta. Theta pe kya constraint hoga? It can be any real, right? Theta pe constrainers, it can be any real. Fine. If you have u and v like this, then modulus u minus modulus v is required. Now, whether it is positive or negative, that we can easily identify from the two conditions they have given that u is greater than 2v, u is also greater than minus 2v. So, u is actually greater than modulus of 2v. Obviously, mod u, mod v say bada jayega. So, my answer needs to be positive. I have to take the positive answer here. Ki what is the least positive answer we will be getting for this? Modulus u minus modulus v means now I can write it as 2 secant theta minus 10 theta. Correct? 2 secant theta minus 10 theta, I need to get its minimum value. So, instead of solving the question in trigonometry, I am converting my question to, you can say, the algebra. And further, after that, you can proceed either through the algebraic process or through the calculus process. I will discuss both the approaches. But first of all, I am using here a substitution that 10 theta is equals to t. I am taking it equals to t. Abhi t can be any real, minus infinity to infinity. All values are allowed right now. So, this means that modulus u minus modulus v can now be written as 2 secant theta. Secant theta kit now 1 plus 10 square theta. And you can write it as 1 plus t square and minus t. I need its minimum value. So, as I told you, now after writing it in this algebraic form, you can either proceed with the algebraic method or with the calculus method. So, I am marking it 1 over here and proceeding with first of all the algebraic method. Okay, so let's write down the method 1. What is method 1? Getting the minimum of this expression using algebraic approach, which says that let this quantity be equals to y. I'm just assuming that this whole quantity is y and I need to get minimum of y. Okay, and y is positive also. 
So what I'm going to do, I rewrite the whole expression and we'll square both the sides. Okay, we are going to write it like this. Now club all the terms on one side. Before that, left hand side, yani y plus t ka whole square can be written as y square plus 2t y plus t square. Clubbing all the terms on one side gives me 3t square minus 2ty. And after that, we have 4 minus y square equals to 0. We know that the quadratic that we are getting will be solved for t. And we also know that t is going to be real. t is real for this question. We are going to get whatever t we are going to get from this equation, it will be real. Because t is real, what is the condition you are going to put here? d needs to be greater than or equal to 0. d needs to be greater than or equal to 0. So let's find out discriminant which will be b square minus 4ac greater than or equals to 0. We are going to simplify this inequality. So 4 many cancel in Kardia and I'm going to write y square plus 3y square minus 12 greater than or equals to 0, right? Or you can write that y square is greater than or equals to 3. From where I can conclude that y is greater than or equals to root 3. What is the least value for y we are getting here? It is root over 3, right? So the question was to get the least value of y and I got the least value of y here. That means this expression will have its least value as root over 3. So I'm writing this value, minimum value for y as root 3. y least here, y minimum is equals to root 3. Well, half of the question is solved. But for this half of the question, I'm going to give you another method as well. As I told you that the expression, the inequality, or to get the minimum value for this expression, you can proceed either by the algebraic approach or you can proceed through the calculus approach as well. So let us see what is that calculus approach. Calculus approach means maximum minimum approach. So I'm going to solve the question by second method where I have taken y, a function of t. So let us write it as some g of t, a function of t which is 2 root over 1 plus t square minus t. I want to find out its least. So I started differentiating it. g dash of t can be written as 2 divided by root over 1 plus t square multiplied by 2t. Right? And minus 1. This is what we are getting. I am going to equate it to 0 just to identify the points of extrema. So this will give me 2t is equals to 1 plus t square. Squaring both the sides looks like this. Finally, 3t square is turning out to be 1. 3t square is turning out to be 1 means t square will become 1 by 3. Correct? These are the points of extrema. t plus root 3. Uh, t plus or minus 1 by root 3. What I need is the least value of the expression. So which point will give me the minima? This is what I need to find out. Kaise find out karenge? Either you proceed for the second order derivative. Or what you can do is you can just check the sign. The first order derivative test can be utilized for identifying the sign of the expression. Like denominator to always positive. Eh? Right? Denominator is always positive. I need to check for only the numerator. What are the t values that we have to take? Plus minus 1 by root 3. So I'm going to mark these two points. Let this be minus 1 by root 3. And this is 1 by root over 3. 1 by root over 3, 0 is somewhere in between. So, sign, how we are going to get the sign of this whole expression, how the sign changes, especially of the numerator, when they crosses these points. So, this is what now we are going to check. Ek kaam karte hai, 1 by root 3 se bada koi value lete hai, like I have taken 1, okay? I have taken 1. If you have taken 1, then check for x is equal to, or t is equal to 1. What is the value we are getting? It will be 2 minus root 2. It is positive. So, here we are getting a positive value. Now, after that, what you have to do? Now you go in between minus 1 by root 3 and 1 by root 3. Keeping t equals to 0 gives me a negative answer. Moving on to the left of minus 1 by root 3. When you move to the min left of minus 1 by root 3, now what we are getting, for example, if I keep minus 1 here, definitely I'm going to get a negative answer. Right? We are getting a negative answer because t negative is so already positive. The overall expression will stay negative. So, well, we are interested more in how the sign changes while crossing the particular point of extrema. While crossing it, no change in sign we can see here. But when you cross this point, when you cross this point, the sign changes from negative to positive. Negative to positive indicates that the graph is going to be something like this, which clearly indicates that at 1 by root 3, I get the minima of the function. When you keep t 
t is equals to 1 by root 3, you will get the minima for g of t. I need the minimum value of g of t. So let us write now g of t ka minima, the least value of this expression. What we are going to get? So g of t kya liya hai usme? Aapne t ko put karna hai 1 by root 3. So 2 root over 1 plus t square. And minus, after that, what do we have? T. So, T ke liye we have to write 1 by root 3. Complete the calculation part. What we are getting is 4 by root 3 minus 1 by root 3, which ultimately gives me the least value as root 3. So, both methods are like convenient. Some people enjoy solving the question using calculus. You can go by calculus. And if you enjoy solving it using the quadratic, you can go by that quadratic approach as well. So, both are comfortable. Both will give you the least value very comfortably right well now half of the question is solved and now i have to solve the rest of the part rest of the part means although i got the least value of the function or the expression that they asked but they have given the options in terms of the function f and i don't have the functional rule right now so that is why now i have to solve the leftover question to identify what is going to be f especially for See, these numbers. Integers ke liye bhi agar pata chal jata hai ki what is f, the functional rule for f, then it will be sufficient for us to complete the question. So, minimum value of this expression is root 3. Isse yahan likh kar rakh But which option is to be selected can only be identified after getting the function f, especially for integers. So, okay, fine. Let's start with the relations that they have given. Look at these relations. Observe them carefully. This says that f of x plus 5 is greater than or equals to fx plus 1. And f of x plus 1 is less than or equals to fx plus 1. Okay? f of x plus 1 is less than or equals to fx plus 1. I am going to start with this relation. What is written? f of x plus 5 is greater than or equals to fx plus 5. Let's start with this. And I am going to combine the second inequality over here. And now we have start the second part of the question which says that f of x plus 5 is less than or equals to fx plus 5. I hope you must have noticed that I have interchanged the position of these two terms and accordingly inequality also I have changed. Now what to do? This x plus 5 can actually be written as x plus 4 plus 1. So using the other inequality for the function that they have given us, I can write it as less than or equals to f of x plus 4 plus 1. Again, x plus 4 ko I will write as x plus 3 plus 1. And using the inequality that fx plus 1 is less than or equals to fx plus 1. That means now the 1 is separated. So 1 plus 1 will give me 2. You keep on writing it like this. Now the next inequality will give me f of x plus 2 plus 3, right? And next I got f of x plus 1 plus 4. And next you are going to get less than or equals to f of x plus 1 plus 4. That is 5. But did you notice something? We had the extreme left of the inequality same as the extreme right. They are equal. And they are equal means in between all these values are going to be equal. All these values are going to be equal means from here I can conclude that fx plus 5 is actually equals to fx plus 5 is equals to fx plus 4 plus 1. This is equals to fx plus 3 plus 2. fx plus 2 plus 3. fx plus 1 plus 1. And this is equals to fx plus 5. This is plus 4 fx plus 5. From these two, I can conclude that I'm actually getting fx plus 1 is equals to f of x and then plus 1. See, a beautiful relation we have created. We have two consecutive terms. So, the gap of 1 is over here. And uh, we have the difference of these two as a constant. Right? f of x plus 1 minus fx is turning out to be 1. Now, with the help of this relation, I can easily conclude what is going to be the function. Kaise conclude karoge? Either you can start putting the values of x. See, what all values are required in the question with the help of uh, this relation, we can identify those values like f10 chahiye hume, f4 chahiye, f6 chahiye, f200 thoda zada ho jayega. But still, we can find out all those values with the help of this relation. So, let us do one thing. Ek general relation yaha pe derive karte hai. 
I will start keeping the value of n, okay? Because I know the value of uh, f of 1 as given in the question. I'll start keeping the value of n from 1. What you are going to get is f2 minus f1 is 1. Keep on putting the values of n. So keeping n is equals to 2. Sorry, this is x, not n. We are putting the values of x here. Keeping x equals to 2 gives me f of 3 minus f of 2. You can see a kind of telescopic series is being framed here. Finally, I'm going to keep x as n minus 1 so that I can get f of n. Right inside this 1. How many terms we are adding here? n minus 1 times we are adding the terms. So when you add them together, you can see that left hand side will become fn minus f1. Well, right hand side will become n minus 1, correct? And this is for the natural numbers we are talking about. The value of f1 that they have given in the question is 1 itself. Keeping it 1 or putting the value of f1 as 1 gives me the value of fn as n. So for all the natural numbers, I got this relation. And in the options, we have been provided with natural numbers only. Epco we have defined only for the natural numbers in the options. So this much is sufficient for me. If f of n is equals to n, then I can go and check for the options. So we have identified what is f of x. And now we are going back to the options to select the correct one. Okay, so let's start with the first option number a. What we need is the answer root 3. f of 10 is going to be 10. 10 minus 7 is 3. So square root of 3, that means this is the correct answer. Moving on to the b option. 10 pi by 6, correct? f of 6 will write 6, but 6 ka inverse likna hai, so you have to write 10 pi by 6. 10 pi by 6 is 1 by root 3, so this is not the correct answer. f of 200 minus f of 198, mm -hmm. this is only 2, so root 2 is not the correct answer. Coming to option number D, abhi D option humare paas kya raha hai? Abhi D option humare paas aagya sin pi f4 inverse, yani sin pi by 4 plus cos pi by 4. Sin pi by 4 plus cos pi by 4 means you are going to get the answer as 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 2. Now what is 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 2? The answer we will be getting over here is going to be root 2. That is not equals to root over 3. So out of the four options, now you can see that what are the answers we are getting in this question. Only option number 1 is the correct answer or option number A is the correct answer. Right? So I hope you must have enjoyed this multi-concept question. So let us bring an end to the video over here. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, take care and bye-bye.